Hello, and in this video we're going to be using Onshape to create ISO number 15. Uh, to do this, we're going to first make our base, uh, then we'll put this portion that goes up, uh, then we'll start rounding some edges, and finally add in some holes. Uh, so first we're just going to go to our Onshape, we're going to create a new document, name it ISO 15, and then we'll start by sketching out that base. Uh, so if we go back and look, the base is uh, 10 long if we count it out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and only one tall. And then when we go back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 deep. Uh, so I'm just going to start with a sketch on the front. So I'm going to sketch, click the front, and turn the view to the front for you. Uh, then we're going to make a rectangle starting at the origin. I'm just going to click to make it, and then we said over 10, enter, and up 1, enter. I'll hit the green check, and I'll change my view so you can see it extrude out. So we hit extrude, click in the box, and type in 6, and that gives us our depth. Uh, next, I'm going to add this portion that goes up. So if we look, it's got 1, 2, 3, and then 4 before it starts rounding, so I'm only going to go over 4. And it starts in the corner and has a depth of 1 and 2. And the height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, so we're going to make it on the base and then just extrude it up. So we're going to make it 4 by 2 and then extrude up 6. So we're going to start sketch. Click on that base. I'm going to go to the top view so you can see a little better. And then do a rectangle starting at the origin again. We're going to click and we said 4 over and 2 deep and hit our green check again I'm going to rotate it, the view for you and we'll extrude it up 6 we said so we'll go depth of 6 and enter uh, hit our green check now we have the basic outline of this uh, shape next we're going to start rounding some edges so I'm going to hit my fillet tool and I'm going to zoom out and we'll start at these top corners so those top corners have a radius of 2. Hit enter, and you can see it gives us that rounded shape. Uh, this bottom corner, if we look back, it also has a radius of 2. If we count from the bottom up, 1, 2. So that's also going to have a radius of 2. So we can click there, and that gives that rounded edge that you're looking for. Uh, so we can hit our green check and accept those uh, fillets. Uh, because our next ones are going to have a slightly different value. If we look at these uh, two on the ends, the center is one and a half away. So one and a half away. Uh, this, uh, the back corners are not going to be uh, fillets uh, because they are squared off corners. Uh, so we go back and we do another fillet and we click these two front edges and we put in a value of 1.5 and enter. We accept those changes with a green check, and now we need to put the holes into the object. So on the base we have one, two, three holes, and they all have a diameter of one. If we look at it, it's just one space in it. Uh, the first two appear to be at the center of the fillet, and then the third one we're going to have to dimension one and a half from both sides. Uh, so we can go ahead and do that. Uh, so I'm just going to use a sketch, put it on the top surface layer, I change our view so you can see a little better, and then start making our circles. Uh, if you want to, you can try to get right on that concentric mark, and then you can click and type in a 1. Or if you just want to make a circle and put in a value of 1, you can do that as well. And then you can use the concentric tool up here, so we can come up here, change our tool to concentric and click on the circle and then click on the edge, the rounded edge, and that constrains it in place. Uh, then we can do our last cutout here. Again, it's going to be 1, and I'm going to dimension it from both sides. So I'm going to hit dimension, go from my center of my circle to the outside edge, and set that as 1.5, and then do the same thing, center the circle up to the back edge, and set that as 1.5. And that puts our hole right in the location we want it. We can hit our green check. Again, I'm going to change the view for you to see a little better. And all we need to do is do an extrude, remove. Extrude, hit remove. It cuts all the way through, so where it says blind, I'm going to go through all. And then click inside my three holes. 
that you can hit enter or your green check and it cuts those in. We can go on top and see it cut those through. Uh, finally, if we look back, we just need this hole that's got a diameter of two and is also concentric to the top. Uh, so we'll go back to our shape. Uh, and again, I'll just do a sketch on that front surface and change my view. Oops, change my view so you can see. Maybe I'll change my view so you can see. Uh, we'll rotate this guy back to our front view. And then I'm going to do a circle. Again, you can get that concentric or you can hit the concentric constraint after. I'm going to click, type in a value of 2, enter, and accept the sketch. Again, I'll change it so you can see a little better. And we'll do an extrude remove. Again, just like the last one through all, and then click inside that circle. Hit the green check, and you're finished with ISO 15. Uh, so hopefully this helps in your creation of ISO 15. Uh, good luck.